Hey guys, it is Miss Simrino. If you are returning to the channel, welcome back. And if you're brand new, I am very excited that you decided to join me here today for another apartment renovation. And I have not done an apartment in a good chunk of time at this point. I can actually confidently say that. I think it's at least been like a month or two that I could be a little off on, but... <laughs> I'm really excited for this apartment because I am using one of the apartments in Evergreen Harbor. I believe this is Stone Street Apartments number three, if my memory is serving me correctly. And I decided to just decorate an apartment for the season of fall or autumn, depending on where you are in the world and what you might call it. But I really enjoy this apartment. I actually built it. Oh, this is going to be a little bit embarrassing. I think I actually renovated this in early September and you know what happened? I forgot about it. I quite literally forgot that I did this. I was, it was in a period, it was right at the beginning of September. I went, I went nuts with doing some builds. Like I think I did like three or four builds in a week, something like that. And I was preparing them just thinking, oh gosh, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll put them out over the next couple of weeks. But then I think we got like a new we got like some kind of new pack or new kit or something. I don't know. Or I was trying to keep up with seasonal things. I really can't. I don't know. I don't know what I did, but I forgot about this one and <laughs> I'm finally sharing it, which is super fun. And you can see that we actually tried to start with the kitchen and I really could not come up with a color scheme that I was enjoying. So I tried something else and I wanted to keep that in there because a lot of people seem to well, not seem to, but a lot of people are under the impression that us builders just whip something together in one shot. And we always get the questions. At least I get the question a lot of like, how do you do that? Like, it takes me a long time. I have to try things like time and time again. I have to do things over and over again to find something that I like. And let me just tell you, I definitely don't do it in one swing. Like, <laughs> at all and this apartment was actually a huge huge challenge for me because i was using a layout that i haven't done before i haven't done this kind of floor plan and it felt really awkward to me because there were some really small kind of cramped areas and i didn't really know what to do with them to be completely fair i just knew that i wanted the kitchen dining and living room to be very open and then have all the other rooms kind of closed off and i wasn't sure how many sims i could fit in this apartment either but I do end up getting, I want to say three bedrooms still, which was kind of nuts. And it's for six Sims, oddly enough, because I did use the bunk bed. So that was a huge advantage, I think, with, <laughs> with this unit. But you can see that the kitchen and kind of the layout is coming together. I was trying to figure it out, trying to make things a little bit more spacious and really just trying to find the colors that I wanted to, that I wanted to work with. And I ended up going with these darker wood tones. I love these jungle adventure cabinets. If I could, I would use them in every build, but you've probably noticed I haven't used them in some time. And that's just because I try to diversify the objects I'm using. The keyword there is try. <laughs> I really try. Um, I don't always achieve it, but I was really excited to use them here. And I really love this cozy little tiny living space. <laughs> it's a little bit too small, I think for my liking, but I do like how this love seat here separates from the dining area and the kitchen. I really liked that separation of space. It kind of defined the differences of the rooms, if you will, without actually using a wall. And I struggled to cover this wall here because there's no windows because there's another apartment unit on that side. And I knew that I wanted there to be some decoration. So I put a mirror over that console table and then a piece of artwork. And then we end up working on the kitchen in a little bit more detail, just trying to figure out where I'm going to put all the appliances and what decorations I'm going to use. And I love, I used this tile in, I want to say it was like my English autumn home or something like that. I don't remember what I called it, but it was a cottage in Henford on Bagley but I made the interior a little bit more contemporary and I used this tile because I love the colors. I think it really fits for fall and I loved using it here so much. I think the orange in the tile matches the kind of wicker in the chairs there. I mean, orange is a very like autumnal color in my opinion and just matching it with the dark woods and the yellows and again, pops of orange and stuff like that. I think it worked really nicely, but you can see that we have picked out some curtains and I'm starting to pull out some clutter items that I think would work nicely. Now I can't recall how many countertops I leave open. I 
think I only leave one open, which is what I tend to do. I always mention this because ever since we got the ability to do this, I have forgotten to leave room for it more often than not, which is the cook together option. You have to have at least two countertops open. Otherwise, your sim that's quote unquote joining cooking will just kind of stand there and talk to your sim, which they could do anyway. I mean, granted, you might get a sentiment between your two sims, but yeah, having two countertops open is beneficial, I think, for that action. But I only left one open here. And that's really because, oddly enough, we were a bit limited with counter space. I think the only one that's open is this one here above the dishwasher. But everything works fine. I did play test it. Your sim can at least make a meal, even if they can have other sims join them. But you could, of course, clear off one of these countertops as well and have it open if you did want to use that action. But we're pretty much almost done cluttering up the kitchen here, just adding a few more little details, like that little half-eaten fruitcake, which I thought was super appropriate for a build that was meant to be decorated for I'll say the holidays. I would say this is the holiday season, fall through winter. And then we end up decorating this little console table here as well with this really cute plate decoration from Parenthood that I always forget about until I pull it out. And I also grabbed uh, this little lantern with the orange bow. I thought that was really sweet and just tried to make it look very, very decorated for the fall season even though we are coming up on winter soon, which is disgusting. And I will say that again and again. I'm sorry if you love winter. I'm so happy you enjoy it. Here's my thing. I don't like the seasons that are very extreme. So I don't like summer and I don't like winter very much either. <laughs> I just really don't. I don't like it. I'm always cold. I I think I'd prefer winter over summer though, because you can always put more off and there's only so much you can take off. You can always put more on, but there's only so much you can take off in the summer and but like still feel like you're melting. But at least in the winter, you can kind of cozy up next to a fire or, you know, wear a lot of layers, get those cozy blankets out and stuff. I just, I do enjoy that aspect of winter, but I don't really like cold and snow. Snow is really pretty, but I don't like dealing with it. And now that I own a house, I have to like shovel and like get someone to plow and all this other stuff. And um, I'm choosing to be grumpy about that, to be fair. Though in all sincerity, I'm, I'm very grateful that we have our house and that I get to have these experiences. But yeah, no, I don't like winter very much. But anyway, we are working on one of the very first bedrooms. So I was thinking that this couple had four children. Now I was thinking a combination of child sims and teen sims. I didn't really get too deep into personalities or hobbies that much, but I tried to keep the rooms honestly somewhat neutral, I think. I wanted them to really match the fact that I was decorating for fall. So I used the same like dark wood tones and colors and things like that, but I didn't put a lot of fall decorations in the bedrooms by any means. I typically don't do that. I know some people will do that when they do themed apartments or builds, they'll kind of decorate the entire build for the season, which is amazing. I just tend to keep a lot of that focused on the living spaces compared to the bedrooms. But this bedroom, they do have a desk with one of these big, fancy curved monitors, this big like gaming streaming setup thing that we got with the high school years expansion pack. And then I just add a few more decorations kind of under the bunk beds. I add some knickknacks and things on that bookshelf, the little alarm clock that we got with uh, the high school years expansion pack, which I really wish it worked as an actual alarm clock. I miss that so much. I think it was The Sims 2. It could have been The Sims 2 or The Sims 3. I can't remember, but you had the ability to actually set an alarm on an alarm clock for your Sims. That way it would wake them up whenever you set it to. So for example, you know, for the kids here, I might set the alarm clock for like 6 a.m. That way I would have enough time to get them to like shower, go to the bathroom and eat something before they went to school. Instead of them waking up at 7 a.m. automatically if they're not rested enough and having them rush to get out the door. Do you know what I mean? For those for those who uh, play very often, like with gameplay and things like that, that's typically what happens. And it's a little bit frustrating. So I would love to be able to set an alarm clock in this game. I think that would be great. But that room is pretty much done. And then I quickly just decorate this bathroom here, which is for all of the kids to share. <laughs> <laughs> literally all of them. So imagine like four teenagers or just four kids in general sharing this one bathroom. 
just good luck, honestly. But the parents luckily have their own uh, ensuite bathroom off of their primary bedroom, which is very nice. They don't have to share that with all of the kids, which I think is great. Um, but this little teeny tiny hallway is very scarcely decorated. I didn't go too nuts with decorations here, just a painting and kind of like a little linen cabinet thing from Seasons. And then I also created a little walk-in closet for the primary bedroom, which I really enjoyed. I used, I didn't use any like fancy mods or anything to make it look like that door was um, open or ajar, if you will. It's just an archway. Now, to be fair, your Sims cannot walk in there because, oh yes, they can. No, they actually can because the door is technically in an archway. So I think they, they should be able to walk in there. If not, you might have to delete one of the doors. Wasn't a big deal in my head, so hopefully you don't mind. But I did use some of these new like closet decoration things to hang up some of the clothing pieces that are technically wardrobes that we got with the High School Years expansion pack and Dream Home Decorator. So I thought that was kind of nice. It was an actual functional walk-in closet with big tall mirrors and everything like that. I thought it was a nice use of the space because the room was a bit awkwardly shaped with this little bump out here and I don't know, I just thought it was kind of unique and I haven't done it in a long time, so it was exciting to me. Now I also add a rug here. I think this one from, I wanna say, is that from the Werewolves expansion pack? Yeah, that's from Werewolves, I think. I think that's from Werewolves, I can't really remember. But I liked the deeper greens and the dark blues. I think they still really complemented kind of like the fall color scheme I was going for. There's also a little armchair here in the corner, nothing fancy at all. And again, they do have that bathroom off of the primary bedroom as well, which I can't recall if I decorate that on camera or not. It's very similar to the other bathroom. I think I just use a different swatch of like the shower curtain for the shower tub combo. I can't really recall, but it's a decent sized room, which I was kind of surprised with, especially since I was able to get this room over here to fit two more Sims. And I didn't use bunk beds, I don't think. I just used these single beds, again, from the High School Years expansion pack. And this, I I wanna say I was thinking this was more so for the children. Maybe the other room was more so for the teens. But again, you can have whatever Sims that you want in here. This could be for all kids, for all teens, a combination, does not matter whatsoever. You can do whatever you'd like with any builds you download. <laughs> but I did put the nightlight in here, so that is what I was thinking, is that this was gonna be for the kids. But I really liked this room. They also have a desk, and I loved using this coat rack decoration from Snowy Escape because I never use it. And that's because it's skis, and I think it's such a cool decoration, but I wish we had kind of a more neutral one that you could use in everyday builds so it didn't seem as themed. Do you know what I mean? I suppose it doesn't matter. It's just wishful thinking, but we do decorate this room very quickly. And then I do think that I leave the other bathroom out because it really wasn't that important. And we are getting close to the end of the build here. So I hope you all enjoyed this. I cannot wait to hear your thoughts and I will catch you next time I post a video and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. the bushes i don't want to push but you're making this hard i know something's going on there's dishes in the sink and trash in the front yard tell me what can i do do i go for a walk should i stay with you I'm tired of sitting on my hands Watching what I love Wilt like a houseplant Do you feel